we rely on our eyes to guide ourselves around the world. It's all about coordinating our sense of vision with our bodies. But we're not even born with the basics. Babies have to learn where things are and what they have to do to grab them. And until they get it right, it can be a frustrating process. As adults, we take it all for granted. But in Chicago, psychologist Hubert Dolezal has devised a bizarre way to test how well our brains can adjust when everything we've spent years learning is turned on its head. He's built a set of goggles that flip the world upside down. Hello, Hubert. Hubert has been wearing his goggles non-stop for two weeks now. We're going to see how well our human guinea pig learns to cope after just a few hours. Oh, that is so... <laughs> at first, it's totally disorientating. But at the end of the day, we're going to see whether it's possible to ride a bike with the goggles on. I'm right here now. Here we go. Let's shake hands. Uh huh. <laughs> First, it's back to Hubert's flat, and to start with, a simple task that any child could do. It's so weird. My hand is just, you know, disembodied. Is it? Is it? It's back to square one. I'm going to have a new admiration for babies now when you see them playing and trying to stack them. <laughs> <laughs> there is a great gaping fridge there. And I can't work out how to get my hand in. Everything that normally happens automatically is now a real struggle. You have to think about what you're seeing work out where things are, and then move your hands. It makes you realise how even the simplest movements depend on accurate guidance from our eyes. Where is my hand? At first, anyone entering this strange upside-down world has the hand-eye coordination of a toddler. But after a few hours, there are signs of improvement. Hubert seems to have no trouble, but then he spent weeks wearing the glasses, and to begin with, he was just as bad. Oops. Oops, I just realized that I'm going to drink with my forehead. Oh, I'm sorry. As the days went by, Hubert adapted brilliantly. His brain started to make sense of this topsy-turvy world making the right movements automatically without having to think about it. After eight hours, it's time for our volunteer to attempt riding the bike. It takes a monumental effort of concentration not to fall off, but he's just about hanging on. 